Ah, my beautiful people, yo. So here we are, another extremely important video right here for man or woman. I repeat, for man or woman, okay? Why you should avoid all of these common average deodorants found in the regular store. But we're gonna put a flip on it and raise some serious breast cancer awareness, okay? Some true breast cancer awareness. Not like that of what you find on a bucket of uh, class one carcinogen fried chicken with a pink ribbon on it. No, true cancer, true breast cancer awareness right here with this video. But first thing first, why should any man or woman avoid all of these deodorants? All right, now let's get right on into it. These are a double-edged sword. I want you to realize that your body is trying to eliminate, okay? And your armpits are are one of them sweat is one of them you want that to come out you don't want an antiperspirant to keep it trapped in here's the double-edged sword not only first of all it introduces a shitload of chemicals it's a, a toxic chemical shit storm right then it traps the chemicals in along with any other thing that you're trying to detox out of your body by means of one of the largest forms of elimination your sweat and your armpits okay so let me tell you how this ties into women specifically with breast cancer awareness okay okay first of all you don't want to introduce these chemicals into your body again you don't want to keep them trapped in but this can also help reduce the circulation of your lymph flow and it can become stagnant right in the breast area all right that's a big big no-no let's look on the back all of these the active ingredient is going to be aluminum each and every single time i mean we could pick up any of them aluminum all right we go here aluminum so you have to pick one that is aluminum free first and foremost and then you want it to be all chemical and paraben free too. You see here, aluminum, as we get into the men's, they're all aluminum based, okay? So, aluminum again. So, here's the deal, right? Women also, <clears throat> it said that you may want to opt away from a wired bra, which can also restrict the flow of your lymph. Your lymph is like your sewage system. You don't want to back the sewage system up around your breast area. And another major tip, no cell phones in the bras. You probably may have known some of these things, but maybe not about your deodorant. Aluminum free, has to be paraben and all kinds of chemical free. You don't want to trap the chemicals in there. Imagine you've taken a shower, your whole body feels nice and smooth, but your armpits are still always that little rough area that you cannot get the deodorant off. That's what you don't want, you understand? You want it to come out. Now let me tell you to level up real quickly, okay? Did you know you can simply use some lime as a natural deodorant? Did you know you can simply mix some coconut oil and some aluminum-free baking soda and some essential oil to make a deodorant? If you wanna find a store-bought one, I like the um, Primal Pit Paste, for example. But you have much different options. They all start with going to a store that gives a little bit about you, okay? Cares a little bit about you, as this store obviously does not. So we switch to an organic kind of natural co-op or some kind of store first and foremost where they won't even sell all of this fuckery, you understand? They won't even sell one deodorant with aluminum in it while you go here and every single one contains aluminum. Again, trapping in uh, not only the chemicals that they started with to make you smell like a natural breeze for 48 hours of freshness, okay? But then it keeps any other thing that you wanted to detox out of your body. Big, big, big house of Matumbo, even more perspective in the caption. Share with all women you love, in particular for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. But again, man or woman, men, 